I hear birds chirping. I'm looking for the little one. So I've been having problems with the autofocusing on this. So I don't know if it's a driver's windshield or what, but uh, look at that. Isn't that neat? Well, the other two little flowers. I haven't seen those before. And I think these little green ones are trees trying to grow back. There's a daisy. So I might have to take those down again. So you see the yellow ones going. You see leaves dropping. The Irish man is finally uh, picking up the rest of the trash. So see, I think that's a tree. And it's pointing to the dog. That right there is a tree. Okay. I think... These are plants like this. But I could be wrong. You never know. I love these, they're growing. Love the blue flowers, look at that, they're out. Oh, I'm running a, on a dummy battery with uh, with my, uh, my charge power delivery. Uh. So usually it, it doesn't work with uh, Canon. You know, with this uh, my charge, because it's smaller than the uh, 100 watt. But it, it might have been uh, using the wrong cable all the time. So I got the long type of um, what Apple recommends is the MiFi cable. But it's not an iPhone, it's a SSD cable. You know, USB-C to USB-C, where the transfer rate is higher. So I'm trying the autofocus. It's on autofocus continuous, okay? You don't want to see that. <laughs> and this is 28 millimeters. It recognizes her. So it's tracking. And I think it's on children's and pets. I'll find out real quick. It, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, kind of a little upset because it didn't look in focus while I was driving. And usually on AFS it's doing good. So maybe I should have put it in program mode instead of aperture. I don't know. But even then, you, you can't control it. So I got an aperture right now. And it's recognizing the dog. I'm just trying to follow her around. I hear the birds. I ate lunch, took a nap, and then the air, air conditioner came on and woke me up. So, yeah, I, I don't see a uh, little bird. I, uh, it was right here, so I started walking toward it, and it flew up here, and then it went all the way to here, and I pet it one last time, and then it flew up on top of the roof, and then it went into the tree. So I guess it was learning to uh, fly, and actually uh, the bird was in my uh, dog's mouth, and I made her drop it and I tried to coax the bird back. So I think the cat 
brought it to the dog, and the dog was going to eat it. So I saved the uh, bird. Okay, let me check out the uh, out of focusing. Okay, now I got it on animal. Now, the focusing is different from the SL2S and the Q3. And the dog, I got it out of focus continuous. So it's tracking the dog, but I don't know if she's in focus. See, that's the problem. You look at the LCD screen. So I'm going to bring it to the... See, I don't know if she's... So let me take it out of aperture and put it in program mode. Okay, so I put it on auto and... Uh, I got it on intelligent autofocus, so it's tracking the dog. It's now at F8, so maybe this is what I should have had it on. And it's Cinema 4K 30, I believe. So it's right on the dog. So I can put this quick little things up for the autofocus only. So let me walk around. See, it's still tracking the dog. Now it's on the... So I have it going back to the center. In fact, I'm going to move it to right about there. Maybe a little bit up. Okay, that should be right at center. But then if I go to the dog, it goes right on the dog. So, the autofocusing is working. So I change it around. Um, so what's happened is when I change the scene, okay, it's on another plant. There we go. But it likes the green instead of the uh, purple. So if I go down here, see, now I went to the green. And I'm keeping it on the purple with the nice uh, flowers. There you go. Right on the flower. So I'm trying to see if it does an autofocus in the sunlight. Yep, on the flower. But it doesn't recognize it, okay? But if I go to the dog. Yeah, recognize her automatically. So this one does have phase auto, uh, or phase detect autofocus, but uh, it's buggy because I, I think they still use contrast. And uh, depending how dirty the windshield is, it might have been focusing on that, but everything looked kind of blurry. So. Let me put these three clips together before we get in the car and see if the SL2S works with the uh, that 64 watt or 65 watt uh, PC laptop uh, adapter. Okay, let's get back in the studio.